Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to The Gun Shop. I'm Niels Hansen, a.k.a. Guns for Hire, and I want to continue, continue talking about Call of Duty 2017 based on that ambiguous statement from Sledgehammer Games back to its roots. I already put a video out on this, uh, you know, and talking with Nitro and looking at more articles and reading your comments and everything like that. I want to continue the discussion, but make no mistake, if you're here and you're like, oh man, he's another one, he's going to be pumping up, like, this is going to be the greatest Call of Duty ever. Oh my God, can't wait, boots on the ground, you got to get it. Well, we're back. I don't know. I have no idea. I'm not here to change your mind. I don't really care if you buy it or don't buy it. I just want to discuss it because it's interesting to me. And remember, these are just my opinions. I'm not saying they're fact. I'm not trying to sway your opinion. You may have a different speculation. And that's cool. Let's just discuss these things. So that ambiguous statement, back to its roots. Now, I originally read that and I instantly thought, okay, back to its roots. Call of Duty 1, 2, and 3, the original ones that came out 2003, 2005, 2006, were World War II shooters. Oh my God, they're making another World War II shooter. So I'm like, oh yeah, going on with that. But there's a flip side. Maybe back to its roots means either World War II shooter, could be Vietnam, could be just boots on the ground. It could just be referring to that boots on the ground. The, the you know, for all of them until, I don't know, which where was the boosted? It was advanced, oh, advanced warfare. Why'd you do that to us? That was the catalyst right there. You know, the boots on the ground. So it... If we're going back to its roots with boots on the ground and all that sort of stuff there, like some people said that first someone, you know, I read comments are like, oh, it could be the future still and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, it's back to its roots when I'm like, wait a minute. If all they're referring to is the mechanics, we're simply no more boosts, no more exo, no more slides. Well, maybe not slides. Those are kind of cool. Like the dolphin dive and black ops. I thought that was pretty beast when they added that. So if they're going back to its roots, it could just simply refer to boots on the ground which means it could still technically be modern warfare like a, a modern type setting it could be the future but just no boost jumping no wall running or any stuff like that we could be looking at something like that it is a very ambiguous statement you know i took it literally like as if they're going right back i took it like it was world war ii if we're looking back to the roots of sledgehammer it could be back to their Vietnam project, and hopefully not in the same regard, because if you guys didn't know, Sledgehammer originally was working on their own Call of Duty at the same time that Modern Warfare 3 was being developed by Infinity Ward. And this Vietnam installment was supposed to be third person only. I'm not saying first person and third person, just third person. Now you're thinking, oh, no, there's no way. Uh, they were like five to six months into development, Clearly, they were glean, uh, glean, green lit by Activision. Activision, like, yep, that sounds like a good idea. Third person, what could possibly go wrong? I don't know. Let's throw some exoskeleton and boost jumping in it. Maybe people will like it. I'm just, I'm just stirring it up. I'm just stirring it up. Put a little spice on it, people. So, you know, I don't think they're going to do that. I think with the numbers going down, and no matter how, to, no matter how much you like it, the, the numbers in Call of Duty, the potential... With the peak being Modern Warfare 3, with the most number of sales of any, you know, game. And the most number of sales in the Call of Duty franchise. Since that point, it has constantly been going down. Now, granted, this isn't like, oh, they're failing. Uh, even with their numbers as low as they are, they're still the number one shooter game. They still dominated, despite Battlefield 1 being the franchise record holder for their, you know, for DICE with a Battlefield series. They sold their record highs. But it still didn't beat the low of Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. It's still a beast. It's not going anywhere. And I don't want it to go anywhere. You know, even though I own Infinite Warfare, haven't played it, haven't even unwrapped it. I wanted, I got it so that I could play Modern Warfare Remastered, the Call of Duty 4, which I'm not really happy either. I guess I'm just really hard to please or just cranky and crusty. I don't know. Just my personal opinion. You know what I mean? Like, whatever. You play what you want to play and I'll play what I want to play. But anyway... You know, despite that, it's they're going down, but they know the potential. That Modern Warfare 3, there's enough crazy shooter people out there that like shooter games, but just did not like where it was going. So, who knows? I don't, I don't know where it's going to go there. We have so much room. That statement is so ambiguous, back to its roots. It could go anywhere. It potentially, now that I'm thinking about it, it could be still set in the future if all they're referring to is back to its roots of boots on the ground. 
Black Ops 2 was boots on the ground. There was no exo movement. And I actually d really did like Black Ops 2. I'm just saying, despite the future. Because I think about it this way. People are like, oh, I don't like this future stuff and blah, blah, blah. Really, that's cosmetics. But the fundamental, the gameplay itself, was still boots on the ground. Yeah, you had these other instances and the weapons look different. It doesn't matter what the weapons. It could be a cucumber shooting out peas or whatever like uh what is it plants versus zombies as long as it feels right as long as it you know it's got that call of duty feel it doesn't really matter the setting what the weapons are called what they look like as long as that gameplay and the map design is there those fundamentals are sort of critical but when you add boosting when you add wall running it changes the dynamics of that game it changes it back you know from its roots that boots on the ground very very different it changes your style and i know a lot of you like that but what I'm saying is the potential, the overall, you know, sort of pool of fish that Activision can is trying to get is much bigger than just the people that are enjoying Boost. You may enjoy that, but there's a much bigger audience that Activision wants to get back. And I'm part of that audience as well. Will I jump back? I'm not all like, oh, this is going to be amazing. Man, you guys got to get it. Whoa, Sledgehammer. It could totally be but. It could suck. I don't know. So those are the possibilities. That's what I'm looking at here. World War II, that's like right back to its roots. That's like fundamentally like in all regards encompassing back to its roots. That's boots on the ground and back to where it started. It could be Vietnam back to their roots because that's what they were working on. And I wouldn't mind a Vietnam. As a matter of fact, I would probably prefer a Vietnam or possibly even a modern uh, a modern warfare-ish type, not futuristic, but a modern warfare uh, shooter boots on the ground. I wouldn't mind that. At the same time, I got zero issues. I know some people are like, oh, World War II, they've got those. Again, it's just the settings. It doesn't matter if it's gray and gloomy or what they call the weapons, as long as there's SMGs, shotguns, LMGs, sniper rifles, did I say assault rifles? I don't know, whatever. Pistols, all that sort of stuff. As long as it's, as it's there, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter what it looks like, what they call it. As long as that variety of weaponry is there, as long as it's, you know, the map designs are well, that's really all that should matter in this, in, in, you know, in the overall scheme of things. But I don't know. I know it's coming up. I just love talking about this stuff. You know, I get geared up and the community gets geared up. And as many haters of Activision as there are, I am not a hater. I know it's a corporation. I'm not a big fan of corporations myself. You know, they're very bureaucratic. They don't really treat the little guys very well. And they're after money. But again, everyone in this world is essentially after money in certain regard. You know what I mean? Like maybe you're not gung-ho over it, but... You know, it's what makes the world go around. They're a business. They employ a lot of people. Those employees are not necessarily the corporation. They have families to support. So why would I ever want that to go away? I'm not that guy. So let's put that hatred away. Let's just focus on this game. Would that be something? If you're old school and you stop playing and everything like that, what would it take you to play or at least try the Call of Duty again? Number one, boots on the ground. If they're saying back to its roots, that's a, that's a fundamental. That is a must. It has to be boot. If you're going to make that statement and it's not, and you got boosting all over the place, you know what? You lost all credibility. I'm, I'll go all flipzoid and I'll go on the attack mode like with everyone else. You cannot make as ambiguous as that statement is saying going back to its roots. Back to its roots has nothing to do with boost jumping, power sliding, wall running, all that stuff. That's not roots at all like i don't know what roots you're digging up but those are not call of duty roots so boots on the ground is an essential part of it now if that's the case if it's going to be boots on the ground again and like i said really think about this does it really matter if like what the settings are if the map designs are great if the game looks good if it feels good and we don't have all these wonky things or is that critical for you because there's a very big difference in terms of what they can add to the game. If it's set in uh, World War II, you're talking about pure gun versus gun skill. That, that's what's going to determine. Your map recognition and your gun skill is going to determine if you're going to succeed in this. You know what I mean? In a World War II. Now, if you move it up, I think uh, Vietnam, I'm super fine with Vietnam too. Again, not super amount of technology, but better weapons, better sights on them. You know what I mean? So I like that. I like the idea of sights. I don't like, you know, with Battlefield 1, as much as I love that game, 
I do not like the sights on it. So for for it to be Vietnam or sort of modern-ish, you know, like Call of Duty 4, sort of that era there, I got zero issues with that. I would be happy. But I got no problem with, with World War II because I remember World at War and I absolutely loved that game. Loved that game. You know what I mean? It's one of my absolute favorites. So World War II, Vietnam, modern or possibly future, because again, if they're only talking about the back to its roots, referring to boots on the ground, it could still be in the future. But when you start going into the future, when you start getting into sort of really modern, modern, that's when you get into thermal scopes, that's when you get into heartbeat sensors, that's when you get into all that stuff that a lot of gamers did not like. They didn't like it. They were like little help things. They were, uh, what is it, a handicap or whatever, you know what I mean? They're like, oh, here, don't worry. You have bad eyes or you can't see on your TV or you're not really good at spotting people. Let's give you some thermal, <laughs> you know what I mean? And everyone got lit up. Again, that sort of technology changes the games. I think it actually makes you, I, I shouldn't even say, I can't even say this. I was going to say it makes you more campy. But you don't actually have to go anywhere. With thermals, it's like you don't, you, it's laziness. You don't have to spot them. You don't have to be in there. All you do is bring it up and they just light up like a Christmas bulb. So that does change it. Boots on the ground's got to be fundamental. What, what will it take you, you individually? I'm curious about this. I want to see how many of you. Is World War II okay? Would you be all right with that? Would that bring you back? Vietnam. If they go Vietnam, boots on the ground, Vietnam, will that be okay with you? Modern warfare, like current times or, you know, COD 4, not full baby monitor, thermals, all that sort of stuff there. Although I think they had night vision and stuff like that, but what, whatever, you know what I mean, that era there. So is that still okay? Would that be enough to bring you back? Or future? Is future okay as long as it's boots on the ground? Are you okay with that? Personally, for me, I would like to actually see probably anywhere from World War II to cod for modern i don't want the baby monitors i don't want the thermals i don't want any of that stuff i find it's just a crutch for players i find it you know it doesn't make the crappy players i say that then the, you know the less skilled players it doesn't require them to get any better you should want to get better as a gamer not be baby and say here's something really easy for you to use you don't have to get better. It'll be easy. You get some kills. Rather than like, okay, let me learn these maps. Let me learn how to use this weapon properly. Let me learn how to spot people, lead my shots, or whatever the case may be. You know, man, I find there's something more rewarding about that when there's a learning curve. When you add all these baby monitors and stuff like that, I, I just find it's we're babying and we're, we're cuddling and co or is it cuddling? Coddling. <laughs> cuddling oh it's a little call of duty gamer you know what i mean we're we're babying the new generation of shooters uh, uh, shooter gamers or whatever you know what i mean i don't think we're doing them any justice increase the skill level man so anyway that's it what do you think modern war uh world war ii vietnam modern ish or future which one are the make or break ones for you i'd like to know in the uh, comments below follow me on twitter as well greatly appreciate that that link is in the description below let me know there because i'll be reading that all day long and i'm very very curious to know what it's going to take especially if you don't play it anymore what will it take to bring you back to call of duty